There's one. Set for stun. Stop that ship! Blast them! Let me see your identification. I'm Dan Cattell. We're at Katsukan. I'm cosplaying right now. Most of the stuff that I've done are from the Metroid series. So I've done Samus and the Space Pirate, those are big ones. I've got the Stormtrooper, I've got Link and Zelda from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, I've done Spider-Man. Uh, I've got uh, some of the Minecraft characters. I was an official Minecraft mascot at the Franklin Institute. The very first one that I did like this was at Otakon 2010. It was hand-painted, two sides. I abstracted out the pixels a little bit to kind of blur them together, give them a rounded look, but people still called it a pixel monster anyway. So I realized that's what people wanted to see. The next year at Otakon, I did Samus for Metroid, and I did it hard edge, right angle pixels, and uh, that one was when it really started to blow up. I got published in Nintendo Power. The way I came up with this idea was, I was starting to get into cosplay. I thought it was really cool but it was really expensive. I was in college at the time, so I didn't have a big budget to spend on that kind of stuff, but I did see someone who made a really cool costume out of cardboard and paint. That gave me the idea that I could use my creativity to overcome not having all this fabrication background. You know, one thing led to another. I had an interest in animation and how things move, and uh, yeah, the idea was born. Yes! and I've been developing it over the last decade, refining it, changing techniques, experimenting a little thing, doing new characters. I just did my first panel on these cosplays, but I was a little hesitant to talk about myself for an hour, but I, I finally caved and uh, Katsukan accepted it, so uh, I guess that's the thing I'm gonna start doing now. Can't hang out with celebrities. It's been really cool to meet all the fans of my work that have been coming up to me and talking to me over the years. People get surprised when I do normal, uh, traditional costumes. They say, hey Dan, I didn't recognize you without a piece of cardboard stuck to your head. There's a big fan base between the cosplay community, the retro gaming community, people who love optical illusions, people love seeing new ideas. You know, if, if you're creative about it, you can come up with new things by just combining your interests to things that you know about. These aren't the droids we're looking for. If you want one of these costumes yourself, we can make it happen and uh, expand the pixel army out all over the world. All right, men, load your weapons. 